Hey guys, Chris here, um, and before I get into this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd like this video, it'd help the channel grow tremendously, and to subscribe to the channel and tick that bell icon. Okay, I'm about to dive into my laptop and uh, show you how to create a Facebook group, okay? Um, just the basic how to do it. There's a bunch of different settings you can play with and test with, so you have to really, like, you just, just look around the the parts I'm about to show you, uh, the different navigation, where you'd where to go. Uh, I do it on a laptop. Um, so that's what I'm about to show you on. Um, so anyhow, without further ado, let me hop into my laptop. Chris Ramirez here. And I want to go ahead and show you the way to create a group. So we're, we're on our laptop. If you don't have a laptop, get a laptop. One that can, preferably a laptop that can handle multiple tabs, eight gigs or higher. Of, of RAM, you know, um, but if you have to go cheap, by all means, if you do go cheaper, um, be aware that you, there's only so many tabs you can have open, so I just want to let you know that um, you'd have to manage the mem the memory by, by how many tabs you have open using Chrome. I use Chrome, so yeah. All right, well, anyhow, no, enough of my blabbering. Let's go to groups. You'll see it. It should like when you're on your feed. You'll see it says groups, and then you see create a new group. All right. So what you could put right here is really up to you. I mean, you could do different niches and all. It's just that the approach the approach has been changed a little bit, and I want to give you guys the updated approach um, to really to really uh. Make it to where you can grow group multiple groups even if you create your own groups lists. Um, more on that later about the groups list. Uh, but so, but anyhow, um, so let's create a group. Affiliate. Affiliate. We're gonna put work from home affiliate marketing. I say. Post your link. I, I say, guys, put that post your link. Post your link because people are uh, not letting people post links. So if I think I think if you put post your link, it'll attract more people for you to uh, go through the survey funnel that I, I show you guys. The survey funnel, okay? Um, and how to upload them to your newsletter and how to program your newsletter. If you haven't watched that content, it's in the members area, guys. But anyhow, um. Let's see. Okay, privacy. Now you can do pro, uh, private group, public group. There's there's pros and cons to both. We're gonna do a public group first, so so that got, you guys can see the new group experience. All right. So I'm gonna set this to the new group experience. Uh, let's see. I got two main keywords: affiliate marketing, uh, work from home. Um, obviously, think think more out the box. Like advertise your business keyword phrase. Things like that. The advertise your business keyword phrase. I don't want to like spend too much time on that. I'm just gonna go invite my brother. Timmy. Timmy. I'm just invite, invite a family member. Let's see. All right, so it's public group. I'm going to create the group. Yeah, okay, fine. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's live. Um, and oh, my notes optimized group. Um, we're just going to keep things simple. Uh, what I'm going to do is. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and I think it's in settings. Group settings is where, where we've got to start. Group settings. And name and description. This is where we, we put our, this is the first piece of real estate that your campaign can go with list building. I say list build, doing this, list build, build a list, you know, because building a list even if they're not buyers, it's still soil. So you got to look at it that way. If you, are you, you when you get that list, are you tilling the soil? Are you planting seeds? Are you tending to the land? You know, look at your list like that. Even if they're not buyers, um, obviously scrub the list often. You know, uh, so you're not spending too much money on these autoresponders. Anyhow, I don't want to go on too many tangents. I'm just going to go ahead and put for for simplicity's sake. Um, group, group. 
I'm going to say Chris group. I'm going to put Chris new group because I want the tracking link to this. This is a product I recently launched. I'm just going to put that in here. Chris new group. Um, let's see. I'm for simplicity's sake. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. And leave a happy face. Check it out. And I'm going to save. So that's where I got a link right there directly in there. So let's see what it looks like. Let's go to community home. You obviously want to have better copy than that, guys. You don't want to be super general. Okay, I think I think it even shows like that it's in the group that like it blasts to the group. It should have blasted the group. Let's check. Even though there's only one member. Okay. See how it did? You see this? You see how it did? Check it out. Alright, so let's see what happens when I click through. Okay, cool. Alright. That's it. Okay, that's it. Okay, cool. All right, so let me go ahead and X that out. And I always put a node. You can even do the care node. It's it's up to you guys. Okay, but um, I'm going to show you what you could do with this. You see how it's showing it publicly? What you could do is pin to pin to featured. Pin to featured. Now, you notice uh, we're just going out of default building the group. There's there are more uh, There are more options in these groups, guys. I just want to get to, like, the core of what what the what you purchased, what you picked up. So the core of that. Okay, so this is on default. This is public. I just pinned it. So let's see what happens. It, it like it's like duplicates itself on multiple real estate, real estates of the uh, group. Okay, so here we go. Right here, there it is. It's right here, and I think it's in the the featured. Look, let me take this out. On the person from the outside looking in, this is what they see. Check it out, Chris New Group. Check it out. This this uh, this is really sucky copy. I just want to get to the point with this with you guys. Um, I highly recommend you pick up uh, Copywriting Secrets by Jim Edwards. Copywriting Secrets. Seriously, guys, it's powerful. Um, it helped jumpstart my copywriting skills. Obviously, there's more take and more literature on copy. So if you you got to learn to write good copy, guys, you got to. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's like not really a set way per se with copy, but there are building blocks and assemble, assembling blocks to copy. If that makes sense. Okay. So that's the, the, the mindset when you go, when you approach copy. All right. But anyhow, this needs bullets, be features and benefits. It's missing that right now. So just want to kind of have that lesson with you guys. We'll tidy it up later. Um, anyhow, so we got that going on. The group is public. Now, next, what I would do. To get, because this is what you this is what you picked up, guys. Okay, so what I would do after that, yeah. Before before anything, I'll show you this. You see, it says grow group. See, allow Facebook to suggest this group. When on, this group will be shown to people who might want to join. When off, Facebook will snooze suggestions for thirty days. This group will not be recommended to others. You want this on, obviously, because that's what creates the autopilot tra autopilot traffic, guys. All right, so um, so let me go ahead and do this. So we know that's on, um. We're we're set to participation, I believe the partic participation thing. I'm trying to see where I think it's in group settings, guys. This is not I'm not seeing it in front of my face, so it's probably in group settings. They always change in the layout, guys. They always change in the layout. It's public. You could always make the web address unique. I would recommend do that, but for speed sake, just gonna look for. All right, here we go. We want to look at these uh, settings. I think there's some tag settings here. Location. It's not showing. See, it, it, what I've noticed is that some groups are, like, different. Like, they allow they allow different, like, switches that you can flip. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird how it's like that. But, yeah, but this is what I see. If you see the same, hopefully you can follow along. Okay. All right, so participation. We want this on. See this participation approval? We want that on. Want it on. You see what it says? Members and visitors must approve to post or comment. Save. Okay. Only profiles. All right. Yeah, I, I always stick with only profiles. If you, for some reason, start getting uh, a bunch of spam fan pages, because they've no, they've got a lot of spam fan pages they mass create, I like to put it to where it's only profiles, not profiles and pages. Sometimes your yours might be set to profiles and pages. 
If you notice spam pages join, go to only profiles. It's the best way. Go to only profiles if it's toggled the other way for you guys on your side. Because I had to do that with one of my groups. And I had to tell another group member to do the same because they, they mass create these uh, accounts and they try to infiltrate the group. So it's it's pretty interesting what they try to do, some of these people. But anyhow, that's why I say only profiles. Okay, anyhow, approve all members posts. We want to put this on. Posts by members must be approved by... Actually, we want to leave this on because that's the point of the group for freedom. But we want we want to uh, make it to where they go through a survey sequence. Okay, it looks like it changed up some here. Where's that? Participation approval. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It looks like it looks like you see it right here. I might I might have passed it up the first time, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Participation questions. Okay, so we want to do is we want to add our questions. And then I always ask, how did you find this group? And I like to do written answer, save. And we're going to create a new one. Create. Um, What was it again? What's your biggest issue trying to get conversions I'll switch it up because I've used the other one too much conversions and I'm gonna put written written answer save obviously you want to change it up you don't want to do exactly what I'm saying you want to model it all right so let's go to create a question this is where you you build your list the last question is where you build your list but the guys that drop their emails you want to vet the profile you want to vet them. You want to vet these profiles really, really good, guys. Um, see how old, how aged the account is. <clears throat> if it's not recently created, I'm real suspicious of recently created accounts, guys. Uh, I like the aged accounts. Um, people from uh, I know in the pet, in the older training, I was kind of on stick, kind of a coming off with a bit of a stigma on these other countries, but. I've learned to I've learned to realize that the stigma is not it's not the same. I don't think that way anymore. I actually let the people in from India in, in Nigeria. And I but I vet the profiles. I vet them. I vet these profiles, guys, because they're doing activity in the group. They're posting in the group to help stimulate the the fact that they're giving data points to Facebook to suggest your group to others that want to post in the group. So you're cultivating these groups, right? And you're building a list with these groups. So now you have this soil, and I'm trying to get that through to you guys. You have this soil, this this list, and then with this list, you figure out a way how to plant the right seeds in that soil. Okay, guys. So anyhow, this is where we pitch. Um, looking for if I'm gonna just keep it simple. I don't wanna make it too complicated. If you you you're looking for a method to Generate, generate. Uh, I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna put hundreds, 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 hundreds a day. I'm just, just for speed's sake, hundreds, hundreds a day, hundreds a day. Drop, hundreds a day using, using, groups, using groups. That's a generate hundreds, hundreds. Hundred dollars, hundreds of dollars a day. Using groups, drop your email, drop your email, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, written answer because they have to put their email. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. If you're looking for a method to generate hundreds, hundreds a day using groups, drop your email. Okay, so now we got that going on. That's how you initially set up your group. Now that your group is set up, if you followed along, got to make sure we don't lose the link to the group too. Let me go back. See, see how I almost lost the link? I always like to get the link right away so we don't lose it. Okay, now, now the group has to be discovered, the stimulating part. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in my notes. Did 
just have a notepad document ready, guys, and just, you know, do your thing. Obviously, you would save it. On a, I like this notepad on Mac. It's just like it's it's in there already. Okay, let's see. How do you find this group? So I got, how do you find this group? What's your biggest issue? Trying to get conversions. If you're looking for a method to generate hundreds a day using groups, drop your email. And I, I like I said, guys, when you create your group, you want to do post your link. I think I think if you will post your link, you'll attract because there's not many people doing it. And I figure I'll let you guys, if you do that, uh, you'll be vetting the profiles anyway coming through the participation requests. So you get to ch pick and choose who gets to join the group. Okay, it's up to you. Now, yeah, it takes time. Yeah, it does. It takes time. But once you cultivate it and you stack a few of them um, and you, you create the other different variant groups, the, the attraction marketing group, the the different – even tests, guys. Tests with the different settings, like the different settings. Um, now, I, I do want to give you a fair warning. If you test with a setting, it might lock your group into that setting, so you'd have to start a new group. So I want you to bear that in mind. I'm just, I gave you the bare bones of just creating a group where people can actually promote their 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 products. Okay, you create that group, and then you take that group traffic. You're vetting these guys, obviously. You're vetting them. Um, it's up to you who you want to keep. Uh, don't have too don't be too don't have too big of a stigma in certain countries. Just vet them real good. Uh, see if they're worthy, <laughs> so to speak. Um, and that's just that. Now we got to now the next video and talk about. Uh, let's see, optimize. Let's see if there's any more uh, other further optimization because I already did save that link. I don't want to. I don't want to miss uh, important some important stuff. Group settings. Let's go back into group settings because we already got the participation thing sorted. Request <clears throat> the questions. That's sorted. Okay, so let's look at these other group settings just so you can take a look at a glance. Mm, group settings. Here we go. I'm already there, done. <laughs> All right, visible. Okay, so you see your group's visible. Location, you can choose to put your location. Um, customize your address. You can choose to make a unique name. Okay. Uh, group color. Uh, let's see, you could put your group uh, color. You know, do different, I'm going to do the green. Let's do the cool. All right, 10 badges. Um, what's the badges? Mm, admin rising star conversation starter. I like these badges. Yeah, I like these badges. These badges are fine. Okay, so group type general. Now this is where you can like really let's see, choose the type of oh, wait. Group type. Choose a type to get features to meet your group's needs. You can change your group type at any time. Okay, well it's general now, so I'm just cancel. It's not. It's not giving me any other options at the moment. It's because it's a new group. It's probably why. Um, let's see. Now, just approve all members' posts. Um, they have to get through the participation request for the first round, so we're just gonna leave that be, because you got you got to go through them anyway. You have to go through the lead flows that are coming in. Sort comments, suggested default, sort sort posts, most relevant. Um, let's see, most relevant, newly active. See this right here? This will probably help your help as well. Let's see. You know, newest activity. Shows posts. Show posts with recent comments first. There's recent comments. New post. Recent comments. Let's see. Most relevant. Post is sorted by recent activity. I'm probably just going to keep it at most relevant because uh, if the keywords in the algorithm should pick up most relevant. So I'm going to just keep that be. I'm going to leave that default. Participation approval is on, so that's how we get them to where. All right, they they go to try to post, and then they hit the survey questions, and then if they if they answer it a certain way, that's when you decide on your end if you want them in the group or not to to allow them to post their link. Now you do have to be on guard for the most point of the kind of links they're posting because because that that can mess with your group quality and they can your group can get disabled. So I just want to let you know that's why it's imperative to create multiple groups. Try to strive for three. Strive for three first, three groups. Then after that, strive for five groups, and then just take it from there. That's what I would get at. Um, anyhow, 
but yeah, look, you can add things to groups too. You can do uh, the gifts. Allow people to post gifts. You can allow that. Let's see. Allow watch watch and make short fun videos tailored to your community. You can do reels. Let's see what that is actually. Watch and make short funny videos tailored to your community. I think I can do reels. So that's something you can do, guys. Do some reels. Yeah, you could do some reels and and uh, really get get some uh, attention there. I, I might have to test it on another group. But that's how you pretty much go do – that's how you create your group. Now, the next video, we're going to talk about uh, how to get traffic to the group so the group stimulates. All right, so let me go ahead and stop the video so we can do that. Hey, guys, now that y'all went ahead and consumed that content, be sure to click those links below. There will be a link below. You can go ahead and join the group list to help you manually go grow your traffic. Or you could take me up on that offer so that I can help you to drive your own traffic to your group. Okay, guys? So that being said, that link will be in the description. You could choose either or. It'll be two directions you can go. You'll see it once you click through to that first link. All right? You can either go straight to the group list or you can go ahead and take me up on the offer I have for you guys to help you grow the group that you just started. Okay? That being said, subscribe to the channel. Uh, tick that bell icon. Like the video if you like the content. I'll see you guys in the next video.